Now the economy and new indications the recession hangs on. Retail sales went down in April by four-tenths of a percent. It's the second month in a row that consumers have cut back on spending. And the report sent Wall Street into a slide. The Dow Industrials fell 184 points. The Nasdaq lost 52. Here's Betsy Stark. The consumer spending strike that helped push the economy off a cliff last fall dragged on last month. When I'm buying, I'm buying only necessities, only what I need. Americans are not quite as panicked as they were a few months ago. Thanks. Have a nice day. But even those still collecting paychecks say they worry about pink slips. It's always a constant in the back of my mind that I could still lose my job. The fear of unemployment is the elephant in the retail store. You know, people want to buy, they've got that urge to splurge, but there is very much a concern. I might lose my job or somebody else in my house may lose their job. Americans are also spending less because they're feeling less wealthy. The falling value of their homes has translated into falling sales of merchandise for the home. Spending on furniture down more than 14 percent, appliances down 12 percent, garden supplies down more than 10 percent. Even the luxury market is suffering. Today on New York's Madison Avenue, we counted 17 empty storefronts on a 20-block stretch studded with designer boutiques. You're seeing people who were billionaires who perhaps are now half billionaires. Uh, and while clearly they could go on spending at the same pace they did before, they too do feel poorer and it does affect what they're willing to spend. Analysts who study consumer spending habits say they do see one light at the end of this tunnel. According to a survey of shoppers released today, one in four consumers now say after cutting back for months, they're ready to splurge. Some on a vacation, some on a night out, some on something new to wear, Charlie.